Good morning to the latest edition of Exploring the Alphabet with Dewey and I. We're here today to talk about the letter U. And here is our alphabet tree song. Here we go around the alphabet tree, the alphabet tree, the alphabet tree. Here we go around the alphabet tree singing sounds of the letters. This is a sound that you can make, U and U. Uh. This is a sound that you can make, U and U. Uh. In words like umbrella, U for umbrella, U for up, U for everyone's favorite word, underwear, U for upstairs, U for uncle, capital U for your, your slug. Um, and it's capital because that's capital, because Ursula is a name, sorry. Blah, blah, blah. U is for unhappy. Oh, can you make an unhappy face? U is in the United States, which also is USA. U is in unicycle. And U is in everybody's favorite unicorn. All right, let's get to writing. All right, capital U first. Just go down and around. Remember, I'm left-handed, so my writing may be a little bit different than yours. And as always, pay attention to how your teachers are telling you how to write. All right, lowercase u. Very similar, but there's a little tail that goes on the end there. Oh, and Dewey jumped off again. Poor Dewey. He's just so excited to share these books with you today. And we've got, let's see, The Uncorker of Ocean Bottles. You for uncorker. Ah, Monsters New Undies. You for undies. Up in the Leaves. You is an up. This one was a really fun book. It's the story of the Central Park tree houses. It's a boy who used to build tree houses in Central Park. Very fun. And the pink umbrella. You for pink. This is a very cute story. And you for unicorns! Unicorns 101. Do you know everything there is to know about unicorns? This book might teach you something you don't know. And the universe ate my homework! You for universe. And the uppercase, trouble in capital city. You as an upper. Uh, this is a really fun detective story and there's also one called 789, which is very fun. And we've got good night underwear. The underwear in this book is squishy and you can touch and feel it. And last we have, you don't want a unicorn. You for unicorn. All the reasons in the world unicorns might not make the best pets. Just saying. Alright, we're gonna do a little song about getting dressed right now. It's called Now You're Getting Dressed, and it's to the tune of Mary Had a Little Lamb. First you put on your underwear, your underwear, your underwear. First you pull on your underwear, and now you're getting dressed. Stick your arms in your shirt, in your shirt, in your shirt. Stick your arms in your shirt. Now you're getting dressed. Pull your pants up to your waist. Pull your pants up to your waist. To your waist. To your waist. Pull your pants up to your waist. Now you're getting dressed. Wiggle your toesies in your socks. Wiggle your toesies in your socks. In your socks. In your socks. Wiggle your toesies in your socks. Now you're getting dressed. Slip your shoes on, tie them tight, tie them tight, tie them tight. Slip your shoes on and tie them tight. Now you're getting dressed. Now you can go out and play, play, play. Now you can go out and play because you're all dressed. That was kind of fun. All right. Um, our cute unicorn craft. It's got some wavy hair. You can pick this up at the children's desk when the library is open. And Dewey and I are going to say goodbye. Uh, the alphabet time is over, clap your hands. The alphabet time is over, clap your hands. Alphabet time is done and we hope that you had fun. Alphabet time is over, clap your hands. See you guys next week.